Hey girls, so this is a video all about some hair and this is from the Goddess Hair, New Goddess Hair um, Company and I will post their information below. So first things first, you do see I have one of these huge satchel bags. I love these bags, especially when they come big like this. I like really, really like them when they are super big like this. So they cater to 7A Brazilian Virgin, Virgin Remy Hair. So let's see what came in this packaging. Medium individual lashes so it looks like somebody knows exactly what lashes that I like I prefer those over the strips one of my favorite wig caps which is the mesh net cap these just allow your hair to breathe a lot better so I love those I always 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 wear those so I do have three bundles and a closure and the bundles are rather short because I wanted to do something totally different so I think they are all 14 inches yes they are all Brazilian body weight, 14 inches, and the closure is as well. So this time around with this, I'm going to do like a loose, wavy, kind of loose bob type of style, but with some color in it. I think I'm going to make it red. I think I am going to make it red. So the closure is really pretty. It looks a little dark um, as in the color, but the hair smells like so good. Like, And it also looks like really, really healthy. Do you see how like flowy this is this is like really healthy so you can always tell like a good closure so reinforced sides as normal and this is absolutely a really good closure like not just the smell of it or the luster but the knots are like so good this is really decent okay so i'm impressed it does have the baby hairs right here so if you girls are into those wispies or baby hairs then this does have that. And the closure is like really full at the ends. This is like some really good hair. It looks like it's been washed already, conditioned, and just ready to go. It has like a really good clean scent to it. So three bundles of their uh, body weight, um, Brazilian. I only needed three because they are 14 inch bundles. And I really didn't want a lot of hair. So they do have their labels right here. Their little label going around. As well as the tags. It tells you this is unprocessed virgin hair. Luxury hair extensions. New goddess hair. And it gives you the length as well as the pattern of the hair. And texture like I said. So the hair is really soft. The bearding is like amazing. Like. And it just smells like. Like clean, like a clean scent. But the ends are really, really nice and non split. <laughs> Excuse me. Non split. There's no split ends. It's not all dry. The hair is lustrous. It really looks like it was washed, like already. Like seriously, it looks like it was already washed. It looks like some really nice hair. Okay. So we're going to see what this hair can do. Okay. Because for one, I'm, like I stated, I want to make it red, so I'm going to do some coloring to this hair because it is time to do something totally different. The luxury Hair Extensions, which is called New Goddess Hair, is available online, and this is their Luxury Hair Extensions. And this is the uh, Virgin Brazilian Body Wave. Looks super healthy. So let's get into the remainder of this video. Okay, guys, so as you can see, of course, I am done. And as you can see, this hair, I did make it red red like serious like a magenta color um i really didn't have to do much to this but magenta it so i did use the l'oreal highlights you see me use that in many videos as well as that as i do have a full tutorial coming up of how i did my kinky straight hair with the red as well but it's really simple you don't really have to bleach and do all the extra steps and it also keeps the hair very healthy so first of all let's get into this hair it was so easy to color this i used the 30 developer because you can use 20 to 30 developer with the l'oreal highlight especially if the hair is virgin it washed so well there was like a little bit of shedding um, I created the wig of course on a uh, mesh dome spandex cap like always and I do have three combs in here it shed very very minimal nothing like major like that which I was so happy about it just took so well to color in I used all the hair I didn't cut any of the hair I just let it air dry I do allow them to air dry sometimes I leave them on the mannequin head to air dry and then sometimes I will hang them up upside down to hair dry so this one I just hung up upside down I didn't flat iron it or anything of course these curls are from what I created and I just used my new me curling one I think it was like the one and a half inch barrel the really big barrel 
I used that on this hair and it just curls so easy. So as you can see, it has like dimensional red in it. Um, I did start in the back portion. So as always, my roots are always dark in my wigs because I hate for them to be like all one solid color. But the way I do this is really simple and I do have videos up, but I just take the hair. Um, I make the wig. And I just, you know, divide the hair and I'll brush it on. And, of course, it does get underneath. So that's one thing about it that it just gets underneath. But I just take it section and section and just do it. So it takes me like an hour to do this, which it's so worth it. But once I have, like, enough color in it, like it's all colored, and I have, like, a bunch left, then I will, like, resaturate the hair. So I use three entire boxes of L'Oreal highlights in magenta color. And this is, like, the brightest red I have ever made any wig, I think. Um, and it came out, I think this is the best one that I've ever did. I did another one. The closure didn't come out that great. This was, like, a couple of years ago. But this one came out really pretty. Like I said, I just leave my roots dark because I want it to look like it's grown out of my scalp. So... Yes, other than that, I tweezed a tiny bit of the part on it, nothing major. So this time around with the concealer, I'm just going to take it on the inside and just a little bit of my beauty blender. Well, I really actually wanted to use like a darker color. And it's really easy to remove out of the hair. All you got to do is basically just um, wash it out. Or you can use some, like, some makeup remover and you can wash it out like that as well. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. And I'm going to put it on the inside of the, the cap. And I might have to put some on the outside. I'm not really sure. Okay, y'all. So let's get into this. As you see, my hair is already parted and braided underneath. This is the wig cap that I do like to wear, like I was saying. And a little bit of concealer went a long way underneath the lace or closure. So I'll probably just start doing that more often. And the item or the product that I just used is basically my everyday product which is topic it is a hair building fiber if you are one who suffers from very thin edges or balding spots then this stuff will work amazing and like you girls already know the Aussie instant freeze hairspray is a must-have I absolutely love this hairspray I actually went and tried bought a different brand well not a different brand but another Aussie hairspray it's more of a volumizer so we'll see how that works but yes like I was saying about the topic here this is a great product as you see it does stick in my edges and it really does help my wigs blend in seamlessly flawlessly effortlessly whatever you want to call it it really really does work but do you see the color of this hair like the l'oreal highlights and the color magenta worked amazing like honestly i've used the magenta probably like two times prior to this i think well no actually once and it really didn't come out as red as this one and I guess it has a lot to do with the quality of the hair so I will tell you this new goddess hair is some really good quality hair so yes you guys you can check them out below that the hair color came out so freaking pretty like OMG that is the main reason why I wanted to do this um, with just natural lighting so that way you guys can see just the redness in it without me using like my artificial lights and for me, the best time to do the videos is during the daytime because I love sitting in front of the window opposed to using my ring light. You just get like the best light, especially when it's natural lighting. So, yes, the hair came out so pretty. And, yes, this is a little bit shorter for me, but I really do actually like this length because it just looks so natural and very classy. Sometimes when it's so, so long, it gets a little bit out of control. You're just like, okay, it's really, really long. Enough is enough. But for me, I do like this length a lot. Especially because it's full. If it was like this length and not as full, I probably would not like it at all. Just because I do like my hair to be very full. I do like a lot of hair. So, yes, you girls, yes. And just some simple beachy wand um, curls in it. I really didn't do anything special. It took me probably like 10 minutes to curl this hair because I was in a rush. I have like a lot of things to do. Another video to get done as well as I need to get to the post office. So, yes. I will post all the information for this hair below. It turned out to be really, really well. And to answer a lot of questions, um, um, a few questions, people do ask me, do I wash my wigs after I make them or before? So when I get the weaving hair, I always wash it um, after I make the unit. Um, I never put on a wig that hasn't been washed. I'm not really sure about other people, and I have seen some that don't wash their units. You can always tell because of the curl pattern. But for me, I think it's really in the hair. Like, I just don't want to put on dirty hair. But also, like I said in a prior video, you do see the difference in the hair after you wash it. It's not like those factory curls. 
so yes I always wash my hair definitely after I make the wig if you're going to get it installed in your head then I would definitely wash it prior but yes it is very important to wash any hair because a lot of people feel like okay they've already done chemical processing and they probably already washed it it's kind of like a coating it's a certain kind of washing that they do on Ally Express or vendors so it's not really a natural look it's not really an authentic look and I just think that if you're going to do a video review, you should really wash the hair instead of just getting on and saying that the hair is really great. You really can't tell if it's shed or tangled because you didn't even give it a chance. You didn't wash it. So, yes, I do wash my hair. Always wash the wigs. I just think that it's really important to do that. But, yes, you guys. So, yes, I am loving this color. It's really pretty. I like red now. I'm only certain color red, so yes, I'm probably going to do like another wig, this particular color, probably something longer, so you guys keep in store for that, and as well as that, all the information will be posted for you girls and guys below, make sure you check my other videos out, and I will see you on the next video, stay deep and delicious, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and thumbs it up, and I'll see you guys soon.